Hi everyone, Antonia here. I have a question and this has been asked in previous videos of mine but I am going to bring it up again because uh, some of you have been asking this. Uh, you guys have likely not seen my past videos about this topic but that's okay. I can bring it up again for you guys and it is how did I feel when I was diagnosed with Asperger's? So, first off, to understand, I was diagnosed at a young age. Um, I was diagnosed at four and a half. And uh, so, I didn't really have an understanding that I was being uh, diagnosed with a uh, 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 condition. And so, I didn't really think too much of it. I didn't really think too much of it uh, at the beginning, but... I started to realize when I was uh, beginning school and going through school life that uh, I was certainly uh, a little bit different than the other kids. So then I was like going through uh, school and I realized that I wasn't as, uh, I wasn't as quote quote normal as the other kids. But uh Again, I didn't really think too much of it um, because I wasn't, I wasn't really going through school like looking for like to be popular or anything like that. I just simply liked going to school. So yeah, and then eventually over time it just adapted into my life and I started to figure out more and more about what Asperger's was and what autism was and um, everything as such. And uh, it just adapted into my life. And now I'm just like, hey, it's what I have. You know, here I am. Uh, <laughs> but of course, you should, uh, you know, you should uh, always uh, reflect on yourself. And you should always, uh, you know, uh, take a look at uh, what you do every day and what you think every day and everything like that because I think it's important to do that because uh, it's interesting and then uh, also what I like to do is I like to uh, I like to think and see what others do and what I do differently um, to them and I don't I don't really you know put it into my life but I just like to see what they do just to be like oh what do I do that's different that uh, that they do that's different, you know, and I like to be like that. I like to evaluate the uh, situations of others. <laughs> uh, but also diagnosing, uh, in my view, I think uh, being younger is better. Reason being, you can adapt, like I said, I adapted quicker. Uh, with what I have and I think it's quicker for a younger person who ha has gone through new experiences uh, and it's it'll adapt much quicker to their life uh, with to someone who's older someone who's uh, had more experience who has uh, lived life more who has seen a lot of things um, it would be harder for them to adapt uh, Hopefully, maybe eventually they would, uh, you know, they would realize, they'd be like, okay. But it would be harder for them to adapt, whereas to a younger individual. Um, but in my situation anyway, it just adapted into my life. At the beginning, uh, I didn't think too much of it because I was young, very young. And uh, then I looked at uh, other kids realized I was, you know, quote, quote, not normal. <laughs> and that is what I thought. That's, that's why I say quote, quote, because that's what I was thinking. And then uh, afterwards, it, I went through the rest of my life just being like, okay, figuring out what autism Asperger's was, and then it just fully adapted into my life. Um, yeah. That is my, that's my personal, uh, 
life about uh, <laughs> about my thoughts and feelings of when I was diagnosed. Yeah. But guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As always, you guys are awesome. Um, you guys are great support uh, to me. Uh, as I hope that I am towards you guys. So I hope that I do that for you guys. And you guys are awesome. I, you know, awesome channel. That's it, guys. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.